Hi, my name is Vanessa Conlin, Master of Wine and Head of Wine at Wine Access. And as part of the Decanter Wine Club, I'm very excited to be tasting the 2016 vintage of Red Newt Cellars, The Knoll, Lahoma Vineyards Riesling from the Finger Lakes in New York State, in the United States. Um, so New York State is actually the third largest wine producing state in the U.S. It became uh, an AVA, the Finger Lakes, in 1982, but for long before that, it had been a sort of under the radar wine region known for producing great Riesling in the new world. And if you think about old world regions, which are successfully growing Riesling for centuries, it has a lot of the same characteristics, a cool climate mitigated by a body of water. So this all makes sense. Um, this particular wine is made from a two acre plot within the Lahoma Vineyard, and it's right in the west bank of a lake, the Seneca Lake. Um, the, in terms of winemaking, it has a very short maceration on the skins and then native yeast fermentation and aging on the lees for 11 months. This particular wine received 94 points from decanter. Why don't we taste it together? So, sort of a lemony color in the glass. You know, Riesling is one of those really aromatic varieties that just talks to you right away as soon as you put your nose in the glass. To me, this has a lot of lime blossom, citrus zest, green apple, sort of honeysuckle, petrol, and like a just barely underripe white peach note to it as well. But a lot of aromatics just exploding from this glass. So taste it with me and really allow it to touch every corner of your palate. It has that racy Riesling acidity that you just can't replicate in any other grape variety. Just super um, present. My mouth is watering in the best way. It makes me really think of different foods I could pair this with. This is very light bodied. The alcohol feels, feels fairly low. Um, in terms of flavors, it's a lot of the same things that I got on the nose as aromas. That sort of white peach, it does have a bit of a, of, a, of an interesting texture, I think because of that lees contact that I mentioned in the winemaking, but just a really, really beautiful linear expression. Very pure, very clean. I could see this pairing with a number of different things on the table, including something with a little bit of spice, although I would caution against too much spice because this is a dry Riesling. This is a very bone dry Riesling, um, but super expressive and delicious. And what a nice um, exploration of the Finger Lakes in this glass here. Cheers. Cheers.